What's up guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today we're going to be making an original Tequila Sunrise. Now, the Tequila Sunrise was first published in a brochure that was put out by the Agua Caliente Resort in Tijuana, Mexico. And the, uh, and the uh, brochure was titled Bottoms Up y Como, which means and how in Spanish. Um, this was around 1934 if I hadn't said it before. And you guys are going to be surprised because this is going to have a lack of orange juice. A lot of people now are going to comment and say, well, it's not a tequila sunrise if it doesn't have orange juice. And I would venture to say that it's not a tequila sunrise if it does. Let's get into the drink and I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing we are going to do is half an ounce of grenadine. And if we have not learned this thus far on this channel, grenadine is pomegranate syrup. Second thing we're going to do is creme de cassis, half an ounce. If you don't know what that is, it's black currant syrup. We're going to do one half ounce. We're using Leger today for no other reason than I have it on hand. Then we are going to do, and it's quality, it's good stuff, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice and a full two ounces of Blanco tequila. Today I'm using El Distillador, which is 99 proof, and I really like it in my well cocktails. This is one of those workhorse spirits that I mentioned in the workhorse spirits episode. And that's it. Then we're just going to add our ice, shake our cocktail. Of course I forgot something, but you knew I was going to do that. It's so funny because just today I got a comment that was like, hey, you didn't forget anything in this episode. You're getting better at this. And I was just like, just wait. There's a whole mess of episodes that are coming up where I do forget something. So don't get too excited. And we're going to use a 14 ounce glass and this nice, lovely column of ice that I made. And we shall double strain into our glass. And then we're just going to put a little dash of soda. We're using Mineragua because it's Mexican. Tequila, Mexican, tequila, Mexican. Uh, uh. And just to add a slight bit of effervescence to our cocktail. And we will be garnishing with a lime wheel. Now, if I were Marius, Marius would be like, why don't you put it into the middle of the glass? That's so much better that way. And it is better that way. But I decided this is a nice one. All right. I'm going to top this up a little bit. Let's take a drink and see how it tastes. Ooh, that is wonderful. The black currant and the pomegranate together make a nice sort of deep, almost dark fruit flavor, but not too much sugar. Um, it has that obviously the tequila is the main component, but it's going really well with all those and the lime. The lime kind of plays in all of it as well. There you have it, my friends, Tequila Sunrise. Oh, and like and subscribe if you like our channel. And if you want to help us out with a couple of shekels, go to patreon.com backslash the educated barfly and you can sub us there as well. Anyway, I will see you next time, and maybe one of these days, Marius won't have to. Uh, he goes like this behind the camera when I've forgotten to say like and subscribe. But I'm trying to say like and subscribe a little bit more because up until now, I've been pretty lazy about it. But if you sub our channel and we get more subscribers, it makes it a lot easier for us to bring this wonderful, high-quality content to you. So definitely hit subscribe. If I could do, if I could get you to do anything else. I would get you to hit subscribe. I've seen the analytics. I know that there's a whole percentage of people that regularly watch this channel and have not hit the subscribe button. No, it's over here. It's here. Yes, it's down below here. There's a little icon here that we changed because Marius wanted to make it more. It used to be a little bar fly, but Marius wanted to make it more uh, apparent that it was a subscribe thing and you can do it right down here. I don't know if my hand's gonna. It's hard to do when it's not actually here. Maybe Marius can put a little piece of tape to tell me where on the screen it would be, and then I can just like point at the tape, and then we can like disappear it and I don't know, whatever. It's getting a little too confusing. Anyway, make, go make this drink. Uh, I've obviously had too many, and uh, I will see you next time.